need it, uh, then the, the administration have the power to do it, as opposed to having mandatory uh, sanctions now, which I think uh, would be uh, would could cause uh, more headaches than others, because it could have cause headaches with our allies, for example, those who are doing business uh, with China now and China technology companies, if we have uh, unilateral sanctions uh, and then decide that we're going to sanction some of our friends and allies, that isolates us as opposed to help us. And so uh, I think that we need to go through and finish with the process, uh, the serious process that has been put in place and give the president the opportunity uh, to make the decision based upon information uh, that is that is received. So already the bill's author and committee chair, Congressman Michael McCall, called TikTok, and we'll quote this, the spy balloon in your phone. And last week, the White House gave the government agencies 30 days to wipe TikTok from federal devices and systems. So there appears to be here with both of those things in urgency. Uh, do you see any evidence that TikTok is currently a national security threat? Well, I think that there's various concern, and I think that there's, you know, that uh, that Beijing could have access uh, to some of our personal data, uh, and that should not happen. Uh, you know, and I, I look at that in that regards. I also think that, you know, it is appropriate. Uh, I have uh, security clearances, so I don't want to take the chance, and that's why I think that the president said that federal the government people should not uh, use or have download TikTok on their phones, and as I talk to some of my colleagues on their federal phones, uh, they do have it on their private phones. Uh, you know, my daughter, for example, does not have a security clearance, and so they may use TikTok, and I don't think there's a danger there, uh, but, you know, initially, until this process is completed, uh, we should wait until the CFIUS process is done, but it seems to be appropriate not to have it on our federally worked phones. Congressman, as you know, there are a lot of business and economic implications to banning an app, especially like TikTok. TikTok CEO has met with members of Congress to convince them the app is not a national security threat. You met with him as well. I'm curious. Can you tell us what he told you? Well, he said uh, that Beijing, uh, China uh, does not have access and that they were going to store and they do store all of the Americans' data in, uh, in in the United States. But that's, you know, what he says, I want to verify. That's, again, why I want to make sure that we have this process, the CFPB's process. If it's moving too slow or they need additional resources, I think it's our responsibility of Congress to make sure that they get it. But, I, you know, and if, in fact, uh, we find that uh, they're telling not the truth, for violating uh, a serious agreement, then they should be sanctioned. There's no question about that. But let's not put the cart before the horse. Uh, let's make sure that we are dotting our I's and crossing our T's and living by our values, not China's values. Let's not act like they would act and react. Let's do what we do along with our allies, and I think that's the best way and the safest way uh, to move forward. All right, Congressman Gregory Meeks of New York, thank you so much for joining us. A lot of people will be watching this one. Up next right here on GMA3.